before we get started, I would just like to say, Arch, if you happen to see this, no, I did not steal your intro. I swear to God, I didn't steal it. I've been doing this for a year before I started watching your channel. With that said, greetings and salutations, friends and gamers of all stripes. My name is GM Dave. I am your man behind the screen. And again, no, I did not steal that intro from Arch. Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. But more importantly, oh, I told you that Games Workshop wouldn't escape my crosshairs. I told you. So, a couple days ago, Arch Warhammer, in response to all of the craziness going on with Games Workshop, particularly the letter that they put out on the 5th of last month stating that Warhammer was no longer for everybody, well, he decided to take matters into his own hands and started an emailing campaign to get Games Workshop off their keisters, as it were, and get them to hopefully change their tune on this whole idea that Warhammer is for everybody that agrees with a certain number of people inside the company politically. So far, the email campaign has been a resounding success. He put out the initial call for the campaign either yesterday or the day before, I can't quite remember, my days have all been bleeding into each other lately. And as of today, well, apparently the campaign was so successful that they temporarily crashed Games Workshop's customer service servers. So it's safe to say that it's all going pretty damn well, and Games Workshop is likely to take notice of the fact that, well, their public is not too happy with the fact that they are now of the belief that portions of their public should not be allowed to play their games just because they happen to dislike the fact that certain members of their company are allowing their personal politics to bleed into the games. Well, seeing as I myself stand among those who do not like that fact, and that I am particularly unhappy with the idea that Warhammer is not for everybody anymore, I decided to get in on that campaign myself. And I'm encouraging you here to do the same, if you happen to feel the same way as I do. Now, Arch put forth a nice little template email that you can copy and paste in his original video, and I will link that video as well as his follow-up in the description down below. But I wanted to put it in my own words, and I would suggest that if you really feel passionately about it, you take the time to do the same. I would also suggest you be polite about it, because after all, the people who are going to read it first and foremost are customer service representatives who likely had nothing to do with the Warhammer community team statement. So bear that in mind. Try to be polite. Don't let your ire out on what is ultimately going to be people who didn't have involvement with this. Those are just the first group of people that are going to end up reading this, and hopefully it really will just be the first group because they're sure getting a lot of info right now. Anyway, here's what I wrote. Good day, people of Games Workshop. I am a decades-long fan of your Warhammer property, particularly in the realm of 40k, but with some love for Warhammer Fantasy as well. I am an American whose roots trace back to Scandinavia and Great Britain, who was raised in a family with one younger brother and three younger sisters. We are all of us adopted, each coming from a different ethnic background, and within my family it was my middle sister and I who grew to most enjoy the Warhammer franchise as a whole. Why do I say this? To illustrate a point, Warhammer is and was for everyone. This is a sentiment held by the overwhelming majority who engage with Warhammer 40k and Warhammer Fantasy as a hobby, be it through the games, the models, the lore, or whatever mix of the three fans like my sister and myself so enjoy. It's a hobby that has been enjoyed in homes, clubs, and hobby and comic shops across the world for exactly what it was, a fun and engaging war game, fantastic creative outlet, and an over-the-top and darkly fascinating take on the very far future. This was a universal truth within the community up until June 5th, 2020, when the Warhammer community team attempted to drive a wedge straight through the heart of this community by stating, unequivocally, that Warhammer is not for everyone. Their statement made it painfully clear that anyone and everyone who disagrees with the personal politics held by those who penned this statement, a statement that is as yet still supported by the company, is no longer welcomed and will not be missed. In the wake of this, the community descended into a cascade of vitriol and the hunting of perceived heretics against this asinine way of thinking commenced. It's been about five weeks since the publishing of this statement and never has the hobby been so fractured and divided, with the prevailing thought being who's going to get burned next. Enough is enough. It's time for Games Workshop to step up and say, without reservation, Warhammer is for everyone. Know if you agree. Know you will be missed. 
No ifs, no buts, no exceptions. Warhammer is for everyone, including people like myself. Full stop. Sincerely, a fan who'd like to remain one. There you have it. My words and thoughts on this absolutely stupid statement made by Games Workshop. A statement that was originally made just to be yet another bit of corporate pandering in the face of all the riots and everything going on over the past few weeks. A statement that has since put the Warhammer community into a sense of turmoil against the very company that makes the hobby they enjoy. Yeah, not exactly great for the health of tabletop gaming as a hobby right now, is it? But that's why we're choosing to make our voices heard. To let it be known that the majority opinion among those who enjoy this game and tabletop gaming as a whole is now and has always been that this hobby is for everyone full stop. The only people who will not be welcome are those who actively seek to destroy the health of this hobby and denigrate those who enjoy it as bad people when, in reality, that couldn't be further from the truth. So follow the links in the description down below to Arch's video if you haven't seen it already. If you haven't taken part in the campaign and you do feel passionately about this idea that Warhammer should be for everyone, please take the time, even if it's just to go into the description of his original video, copy his template email and send that off, take the time to do that. I will include a copy of the customer service email that you can send to in the link in the description, excuse me, to my video down below as well. And with that said and done, friends and gamers of all stripes, once again, my name is GM Dave. I am your man behind the screen. If you like this video and you like what I do here, feel free to subscribe and leave a like. Open the description box below to follow me on social media. Make sure to check out my webcomic Phoenix Rising. And as usual, when it comes to the world of tabletop gaming, you don't want to just sit back and watch. Get out there and play. And more importantly, when things like this start happening, get out there and make your voice heard. Have a good one.